Hello, and welcome to the Recursive Dynamics Animated LCD Eyes Builder. In this video, we'll be looking at the various options on screen and what they do. Keep in mind that not all settings on this screen will have a preview available, but don't worry, you can always go back later and make changes to your settings after you receive the eyes. Simple instructions on how to do this will also be sent with your order. The first option we can see here is how far the eyes can move or look. This simply controls how far the eyes can look up and down, left and right. If you want the eye to stay statically in the middle, you would set this slider all the way down. The iris texture preset is a list of options available for stylizing the area of the eye immediately surrounding the pupil. Once you select an iris texture preset, you can change its hue to customize the option further. For the next three options, there are no previews available. There is the iris spin, sclera spin, and pupil color. For the iris and sclera spin, these options are either enabled or disabled, but the speed is customizable after you receive the eyes. Pupil stretch simply controls how cat-like or dragon-like the pupils look. When you select 100%, the pupils are stretched to their maximum height. The Sclera Texture Preset setting has the same effect as the Iris Texture Preset setting, but on the area of the eye immediately surrounding the iris, which immediately surrounds the pupil. The Sclera's hue can also be changed using the slider below this option. If you select sleepy eyelids, this will make the top eyelids very low, as if the character is sleepy or unenthused. Just remember that if you select this option, you need to allow the eyelids to track the eyes. If you deselect the bottom option, the eyes will appear to be very awake, almost unnaturally so. If you're interested in having your left and right eyes look different, simply check the checkbox in the middle column and then use the left and right columns to further differentiate your eyes. The only limitation here is that you can't have two different iris textures and sclera textures at the same time. This is because of a memory limitation on the boards. So, if you want two different images for your irises, like we've done here, then for your sclera texture preset, you'll need to select white, black, or solid yellow, and then you can change the hue. When you're finished designing your eyes, just click Submit, copy your customization code, and paste it on the checkout page.